Hey guys, um, I'm kind of pissed right now. So, it, I'm, I'm sure if you guys are, if you guys pre-ordered or have Hitman 3, I'm sure you all know the problem that is going on right now. Where, uh, the fucking website isn't allowing you to move your progress all the way over from Hitman 2 to 3. So, as far as I know, there's no way to fix it until IO Interactive fixes it themselves. Let me check my, let me check my IO account. Hold on, let me. Let me just turn the volume down. All right. I just want to play the fucking game. <laughs> I got all the expansions downloaded. I got the standard edition, Hitman 2 expansion, Hitman 2 standard, Hitman game of the year. I got the deluxe pack because I pre-ordered. I, I got everything. So if you don't know, the problem is that the website is being overloaded right now because instead of making the website active weeks ago or a month ago like nor like a normal person would, they decide to make it active the day the game came out. So of course millions and millions of players are going to be flooding that website trying to get into it, overloading the servers, and making it so that no one can access the website. What the fuck were they thinking? How, how do you not realize that... that if you promote the finale of a game and say that, oh, unlike Hitman 1, like, unlike Hitman 2, you're gonna be able to carry your progress over from the previous game, uh, but you have to do it on a website. H how the fuck do they not realize that if they make it active the day the game is going to come out, people are just going to flock to that website and just overload everything. And what's worse is, if once you send your progress over, any progress that you have made in Hitman 3 is going to be completely wiped. So I can't even play the game because no matter what progress I make, once I once this thing gets sorted out, and once I carry my progress over, all my Hitman 3 progress is going to be gone. I'm going to have to start over. So what's the point of playing any of these first six levels, you know? Like, it's ridiculous. It's retarded. It's, it's horrible. I have Silent Assassin sued only on every single map in Hitman 2 and the Legacy versions in Hitman 2. I have Mastery Level 20 on every single level. And look. I have none of my challenges, none of the discovery. You guys saw, I did a live stream. I did a live stream like a year ago playing this map, doing it Silent Assassin suit only on the bank map. And look, none of my feats are here. My target is not eliminated. I don't have any of the classics done. No escalations. None of this shit. I have the calmer one. I have that gun. I used that tranquilizer in Hitman 2. I have the Imperial Classic with gloves. I got that one yesterday. I got that one yesterday. I got that SMG a few days ago. I got the Classic coin a while ago. 
I got the black leather briefcase. I know that for sure. It's just... I don't understand the thought process. Maybe, maybe right when I upload this, it's going to start working, and then the video is just not going to make any sense. Maybe it's going to work tomorrow. Maybe it's going to work a few hours from now. I woke up at 9 o'clock today just so I could have time, because I have plans today. I'm hanging out uh, with my friend Alex. This game finished downloading at 8 o'clock. Like, it, that's when it became available. Like, it, it finished downloading before, but it still had to wait until it was ready to release. It released at 8 o'clock this morning. I woke up at 9.30 just so I could, like, have time to uh, get all this shit figured out, get all the stuff downloaded, and then still have time to hang out with my friend. Four hours, it's 12.30 right now. Three hours, three hours later, and it's still not working. And like I said, maybe right when I end this video and upload it, I try going into the website here, and it'll work. Uh, if you don't know, you have to go into this right here, the carryover. And I, I would click X right now, but I'm afraid it would mess up my recording. But pretty much, if once it works, just hit carry over and just follow the steps. It's going to tell you... Uh, it's going to ask you for your I.O. account. And it should work if they get it all figured out. It's going to ask which save file you want to have exported over, I believe. And all that. And I, I just hope it works. Like, even even when they do get the website up and running, I hope it, car it better carry over all of my progression. All of it. It better carry over every single insignificant little detail of my progression. I'm going to be pissed if it doesn't. I'm going to be fucking pissed if, like, if it somehow fucks up. Because this hasn't been done before from this developer. From what I've, from what I've heard, it seems to be working. Like, it seems to be working fully. But you never know, there could be some outliers or like some people don't get all their progress moved over, you know? So, yeah, I just thought I'd make this update video because it, I, I would have uploaded the small little VR gameplay review, but now I don't even really want to try the VR mode because I know if I make any significant progress in any of the levels, it's not going to matter because once I move my Hitman 2 progress over, it's going to be wiped, so hopefully they get this shit figured out. Hopefully it's soon, and hopefully my progress will be carried over effectively and fully. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see ya. Fuck.